Emma, thanks for setting up the clinic. Uh, that was nice of you to do that. I was happy to happy to work with you all. Uh, this is your first video. One thing uh, you want to notice is you're basically you're rolling on your side and you're pulling. And you see where your shoulder position is all the way through the pull? It's very low. And as you start your pull, you need to start to rotate back and bring that shoulder higher. So your shoulder is up above the pull. Your shoulder is very, very low. And that's what's causing you to look like you're swimming uphill. Your, your hand is ab above your, your elbow, or above your shoulder, right there and there. And your shoulders are dropping as you're starting your pull. And they need to be rising as you're starting your pull. It's a much stronger position. So that's really the... The, the, the thing that really needs to change in order for you to improve. Now you're pulling, you're, you have pretty straight arms as you pull through, but when you start your pull on your side, that's a very weak position, and you're never going to get a straight arm if you start pulling on your side. This is your second video, and what you're doing here is you're not rotating the shoulders quite as much. You see how a little bit flatter, and you're trying to bring the shoulder up, particularly with the right arm. You see how the, as you pull, the shoulder's coming up, but you want to try to get the same thing on the left arm too. Real important to do that. I would also uh, turn your hand in. Try to drive your hand in a little bit. Put your hand out in front of you on the entry. Turn the thumb down a little bit and extend the hand down a little bit lower when it enters the water. See how it's just sort of flattening right on the surface there, giving you an uphill position there at the uh, as you start your pull. So real important to try to work on the catch up freestyle. That'll help align the body rotation and the arm pull. Try to get a little bit deeper entry with the hand, a little bit slight angle down, not a big angle, but down and, and scoot it forward underwater. Push the hand forward underwater um, and try to initiate that rotation earlier. You're doing a better job here than on the first video, which, which is pretty, pretty easy to see for me. But you see how the hand is real high up there on the top of the water right there, and then you're starting your pull. Now look at the angle of the hand as you pull it's pushing the water where down to the bottom and you want to go forward so you don't want to be pushing the water to the bottom you want to be pulling it back so that's where the catch comes in is very important so I don't you know we did some heads up freestyle work on that to help flatten out the shoulders a little bit but don't what I don't want you to do is push that water down on the hand try to think about pulling back from the elbow so you get the elbow up and out and then start pulling back real important that you work on that you could do uh, the catch-up freestyle, and even the one-arm freestyle, I think would be real helpful for you. Also, notice when you're breathing, you're starting your pull real soon, right? Right there, you see that left arm? Be real careful that you, you uh, keep that arm out in front when you're pulling. And it looks like you're breathing a little bit late, so try to breathe. Turn your head as you're pulling, not after you've pulled, particularly that right side. That will help uh, eliminate that left arm pulling too soon. Above water, what I look for is uh, nice high elbows and a comfortable stroke. One thing you want to try to do is uh, stay on your side when you're gliding, right there, all the way through the recovery, and then you rotate back. You're sort of you're sort of trying to trying to throw that shoulder forward a little bit. Just bring the arm over. That was good right there, and extend forward. They look pretty good from this angle here. Uh, particularly the right arm looks good. Now the other thing is uh, make sure that arms are going straight out in front. Uh, I see a little bit, a little bit in front of the face, but not too bad. Uh, above water looks uh, looks pretty good though. So uh, focus on trying to rotate those shoulders up earlier when you start your pull. That that I think will help quite a bit and get a good catch. Best of luck.